everyone who is justified will inevitably and immediately be sanctified. The narrow gate always leads down the narrow path. You cannot go through the narrow gate and then walk the broad path. Narrow gate, narrow path. Broad gate, broad path. You cannot mix and choose. And everyone who is justified before God is immediately sanctified and set apart from a life pursuit of sin now to a new pursuit of living for the glory of God. What exactly does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus? To be a disciple means to be a learner and a follower. Jesus walked along the Sea of Galilee and publicly called men to leave their families, their occupations, and to follow him. Jesus discipled people. He spent time with his disciples, taught them, and provided them an example of what it means to be holy. With a handful of common outcasts, Jesus turned the world upside down with his gospel. The work of discipleship is not easy. The Apostle Paul described discipleship as labor and agony. Yet we're to be engaged in the work of discipleship as Christians. Discipleship is not one of the things the church does. It's what the church does. Making disciples and discipling disciples is the work of the church. Join us this January as we spend an entire weekend focused on the theological foundation and the practical components of discipleship. We will look to the church as ground zero for the work of making disciples. We will discuss the centrality of preaching in the work of discipleship. We will examine how to make disciples through gospel-centered songs, small groups, apologetics, mentoring, and prayer. We will look at the trajectory of discipleship, maturing in Christ. It's a conference for the local church. Pastors, wives, men, and women are all invited to this conference. Reserve your seat and book your hotel by visiting g3conference.com.